Jeannie Spark, welcome. Thank you very much. Tell me who you play in the sitcom. I play uh, Emma Lipsy, who is Dan's boss at yes. school, the deputy head. Yes. How far removed from Jeannie Spark is Emma Lipsy? <sighs> I thought you might ask me something like this. Uh, that's, that's quite tricky. It depends um, what time of the month you catch me on. I mean, there are certain lot times... A lot of mentions of menstruation in this interview process really? so far. Maybe yeah. it's something you bring out in your... I try to. Yeah, well done. I try. I try to coax the period out the, of the, period the girls. <laughs> <laughs> they do call me the period whisperer. <laughs> You're right. Having a good month. How about now? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Go on. She's uh, yeah. She's she's very much in control. She is. She's very powerful. Yes. Um, uh, most of the time, I'm not. Uh, if I'm in a bad mood, though, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, you're not an in-control person like, like her? N no, I think she's... I mean, in terms of the kids, so em Emma Lipsy is absolutely capable and can marshal 30, 60, 100, 1,000 kids. Yeah. She's sort of, you know, she could make them all be quiet. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Um, I can't do that. No. No, I sort of want to take them all off on a jolly. Yeah. And then they you all fall over and get worse. hurt, and then I yeah. feel, yeah, it's dreadful. Yeah, mm. I, I think if, if you... I used to be a teacher, and if I... I'd been in charge of a school trip. Someone would have died, and I and I <laughs> and that's the impression I formed of you. That's exactly. But I, but I mean that affectionately. Thank you very much. Yeah, they would have died in a memorable way. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. An absolutely accident. Even, even the parents would go. That is quite. Funny. That's quite a good story. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Roisin before if uh, in series two. Oh dear. Yeah. Go on. In series two, if there was one episode where. Um, it, as, as an important part of the narrative, she couldn't wear um, trousers or pants for the whole episode or a skirt. She was just naked from the waist down. Very nice. Tops, no bottoms day. Tops, no bottoms. Which is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you three questions. Please. Would it affect your involvement in a future series if Roisin Connerty was bottomless during one episode, if you had to be, or if all of the male characters were? Well, I'm I'm on, I'm one for equality um, of the gender. So I think if we're having a top snow bottoms day, let's not make it a gratuitous sexy thing. Let's make it across the board. Let's make it normal. Let's normalise top snow bottoms day. Okay. Let's bring that to the nation. Because what my thinking is that, that is going to happen in the next series. Fantastic. But I would also insist that the crew were were not wearing bottoms as well. So top to snow bottoms, everybody. Yeah. So there was no need for a closed set. Everybody's wearing no bottoms. I mean, I really don't know what to say to you, Greg. That is a <laughs> reprehensible thing to suggest, but... <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I'm, do you know what? I'm up for anything. Thanks. <laughs> Have you ever punched anyone in the face? No. Jeannie Spark, thank you so much. Um, thanks for doing it as well. It's you, all right. You was well good in it. I had a lovely time. It was wicked fun. Oh, it was a lovely old time, wasn't it? It was all right. <laughs>